Today, I'd like to show you how to make an overlay plot. I have a project here with two plots in it. Let me show you the plots. I'll switch to the results tab. We have a plot of the individual data, concentration versus time. We have two dose levels, 16 and 32. And we have 10 individuals on here, which are given by these gray colored lines here. And then I have a separate plot, which has the mean data and the mean data comes from another worksheet. So I have two worksheets here, individuals and means, and they're giving me two plots. What I wanted to show you was how to do an overlay plot. So let's take a look at how to do that. I will start by taking one of my plots and making a copy of it, and then pasting it into the workflow so that I can make the overlay. So I will just rename this overlay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to to create the overlay. So it already has the individual data on it. And what I need to do is to add a new graph. Well, with plot selected here in the, in the options tree, I can go to graphs. And now you can see I have one graph here, but I'm going to add a second graph. When I add a second graph, this gives me a new source of data that I can add in here. So the individuals are already there. So I'm going to take the means and drag them in here. And then I just need to define the mappings. So time will go on the X, mean will go on the Y. I want to put error bars on. So I will use the standard deviation for the upper and lower. And then one more thing I need to do is on the individuals, I have lattice conditions, dose level is mapped to column. So I will need to do the same thing here, dose level mapped to column. I believe I can execute at this point. I should have an overlay plot. I do. Uh, I just make a couple of changes to it. So let's go down, find the graph here, mean versus time. Let's just change the color so that instead of purple, it uses red. And then I'm also wanting to change the error bar color and I'll change that to red. And there we have it. We have a finished plot with an overlay from two different sources. Hope this was useful for you, and we'll see you at the next video.